Hello class, so yesterday we left off with all of our letters arranged on our paper. We chose to do uppercase, lowercase, or mixed upper and lowercase letters to make our name. We also overlapped them. Does anyone remember what overlapping means? It means that we stacked our letters right on top of one another. Now since we have our letters with no more pencil marks, it is time to color. We can use color pencils, crayons, markers, anything we have, okay? Now this part is where it gets fun. We overlapped our letters to reveal some hidden shapes. See these triangles? Also have some curved shapes. We are going to really look closely at all of our letters and find all of these shapes. I'm giving you all a challenge though. Our shapes that are next to each other cannot share the same color. So here I filled in part of my A red. And now, uh-oh, I am not going to fill that shape red. They share a wall. So if we look at that middle point of my letter A right there, that's sharing a wall with this shape at the bottom. So we are not gonna fill both of those shapes red. We want variation. That means we want to change the colors. We don't want them all the same. Awesome. Now let's find two more shapes that share a wall. Here I filled in a tiny triangle and it shares a wall with that big shape, but we are not going to fill that shape in with blue because we just filled the triangle with blue and they share a wall. So now I chose the color green and I'm filling in this area with the green. Awesome. So now I'm gonna to continue to find these shapes in my artwork and fill them in. I'm taking my time and making sure if two shapes are next to each other, they are not the same color if they are sharing a wall. So I filled in all my shapes, but I still want a color. What do I do? Well, I see some of my letters, if I add a little bit more of a line to them, I can make a shape. So here I have my letter S, and if I just close that one little part of my letter S, ta-da, I have another shape I can color. What else can I change? Here I have the letter A, and if I bring one side of my A down just a tiny, tiny bit, I have a new shape I can color. So I'm gonna continue searching through my artwork to find if I can make any teeny, tiny changes so that I can have some more shapes to color in. Here I made my S a little bit longer and my Z a little bit longer, and I have a new shape to color. I notice if I bring my A down a tiny bit more, I have a large triangular shape I can color. Now I'm gonna fill in these new shapes I created. Great job. Once all of our shapes are filled in, we can choose to color the background with a color pencil or a crayon, or we can leave our work of art just like this.